It's Jared Verse out of FSU. Um, Jared Verse is the number three edge on the PFF big board. And this is a guy that I found did have a very polished pass rush repertoire. Uh, he, he can win in a variety of ways. He has great power. Um, so those bull rush and second effort attempts work really well for him. Uh, he's got strong hands. He's quick around the edge. He has the quickness to cut inside as well and break through the interior of the offensive line. Like he's not always the first off the line, especially early in the 2023 season I found, but it isn't a hindrance to his ability to just post those like dominant wins, at least not Mm -hmm. in college, right? Because he's just so damn explosive. He's like a bullet. Once he he takes his first step and immediately blows past the the rest of his defensive lineman, which is really satisfying to watch. Um, You know, some of his pass rush metrics really impressive as well. 92.7 career pass rush grade was 95th percentile. 20.4% win rate was 89th percentile. 18.4% pressure rate, 91st percentile. And a 13.5% quick pressure rate was 92nd percentile. So really high-end pass rusher here, obviously coming out of college. And like many high-end pass rushers, he's very aggressive as a run defender um, where it's win first, responsibility second kind of mentality when, you know, he he knows that he's he's good enough to win his matchup and get in the backfield. And he does a, a lot with speed or power. He can shed as well. And then once he's beat them, then he's looking for the runner. But sometimes that works out. Other times it doesn't. But again, you you see this with a lot of the top edges in the NFL as well. Like Miles Garrett's a great example of this. Like they'll gamble with their talent because they know that there are big plays to be made when they win. And and verse is no different than that. So there will be times where it just doesn't work and he's too aggressive um, defending the run. He ends up giving up his gap or losing the edge, but he'll, he'll make up for it as well. So, you know, no surprise to kind of see his PFF run defense grades kind of end up closer to average as well. So um, overall, really, really fun player. Um, I, I thought a very good player. So where are you at with first? Um, again, it was like virtually identical. I said great speed to power. <laughs> yeah, uh, it was. I'm, I'm feeling really vindicated here. It's this is fantastic. Nice. Beautiful. But uh, yeah, I, I liked him. I liked his bend on the edge. I loved his speed. I loved his power. Uh, the main thing I said he could work on is his patience a little bit, hold his gaps a little better. Um, too often he tries to get too wide in his pass rush off the edge and he gets behind the quarterback, just allowing him to easily step up. But other than that, I feel like he's he's a pretty refined prospect. I mean, he's, he's probably one of the most NFL-ready pass rushers in this draft. And I love the fact that he's he wins with both speed and power. So it's like, yeah, I like Jared Verse a lot. I'm with you. I I came away really liking him. Like definitely one of those guys that has like a full bag of tricks, strong pass rush repertoire um, to to rely on when he gets to the NFL. He's got great size and speed. Um, I had written in my notes prior to the combine that I could easily see him being one of those players with like a lower 10 yard split time, but ultimately great 40 time just because of that occasional late step. And there was a bit of a difference there. He had 80th percentile, 10 yard split, 90th percentile, 40 time. But his explosiveness, it really is the key here. Once he does take that step, it's evident that you know he's a high-end talent. And, and you combine that with his pass rush skills, like he he should absolutely translate to the NFL. I, I don't know, you know, how large his opportunity will be on rundowns. It's just a matter of coach and team and how much they're willing to gamble with him as a run defender and, and trust him in those situations. But I, I do believe that 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 upside ultimately exceeds the risk with him as a run defender as well. So I, I don't see him being just a situational player, regardless of kind of where he lands, basically. Yeah, 